Android O introduces a new icon format called Adaptive Icons, which aim to make our home screens more coherent by unifying the size and shape of all app icons and opening the door to interesting visual effects. With Adaptive Icons, you supply a 108 by 108 DP icon, and the device will apply a mask shape to it. Now, different devices or third-party launchers choose what shape mask to use. For example, they might use a simple circle, a rounded square, or perhaps a squircle. The mask is at most 72 by 72 dp, but might be smaller in parts. Masks are guaranteed not to touch the central 66 dp of your icon, so this can be considered a safe zone, and you should keep any parts of your icon that should never be clipped within this area. Adaptive icons comprise two separate layers, a background and a foreground, stacked on top of one another. This allows the device to offer interesting visual effects by treating each layer independently. For example, a launcher might apply a parallax effect when the icon is moving by translating the layers at different rates. That's why your overall asset is larger than the mask size. The outer 18 dp on each side will only ever be revealed when motion effects are applied. To add an adaptive icon to your app, create an adaptive icon definition in XML like this, where you can specify which assets to use for the foreground and background elements. As this will only ever be used on Android O devices, you can place this drawable in the v26 configuration so that it overrides your standard icon on newer devices. Also new in Android O is the ability to use vector drawables as launcher icons. Each of the foreground and background elements can be a raster asset like pings or webp, a vector asset, or even a color drawable. The background must be completely opaque, while the foreground can contain transparency. If your app also offers app shortcuts, then they should also update to use adaptive icons. Shortcuts can be pinned to the home screen right next to app icons, so they need to fit in. If you offer a bitmap app shortcut, such as a user's photo, then there's a new API on icon or icon compact classes to create an adaptive icon from that. To help you to create these icons, Android Studio 3.0 offers an updated wizard where you can import or create the foreground and background layers. If you set your target SDK to version 26 but don't supply an adaptive icon, then some launchers, like the Pixel launcher, will scale down your icon and place it on a background. So that's what you need to know about making your icons adaptive. Doing so will ensure that they fit in with other apps on the device and benefit from the new possibilities for displaying them.